set it all up before everybody comes, and then I still have to redo it. <laughs> so, so, welcome to Silver Sneakers. Welcome to Amy Talk Yoga. It's chair yoga today. Hooray! So we can do chair, we can do everything completely in the chair, or we can do some in the chair and some out of the chair. Completely up to you and your body. And we're just gonna begin. We'll sit back in our chair. Let's bring our shoulders right up to our ears. My shoulders wanna creep up there all the time. Usually I'm trying to let them come down. And then we'll just, oh, how good it feels to let your shoulders relax. I should remember that every day. And if you want to do it again, let them go way up there. And then, hmm, let your shoulder blades just drift on down the back. And then we'll just put our hands on our lap. Our palms could be up or our palms could be down. So down means I am really going to ground myself in, be calm. Up means I'm ready for whatever the universe has for me. So if there's not right or wrong, just however you feel today. And we might close our eyes, we'll lean back in our chair, just let the chair hold us. We'll just give our minds a few moments to come into this room with our bodies. Our minds are not scattered around, thinking of all kinds of other things. They're just right here. This little 45 minute time that we're doing is a gift we're giving to ourselves. Self care, taking a little time to breathe and move, stretch our muscles, so important. And we're gonna start to just make our breath a little bit longer and a little bit slower. Bless you, bless you Angie. A little bit slower, a little bit longer. Maybe we can hear our inhales and exhales. I do have a little theme for class today. It is nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. So sometimes as I am running through my life, I just think, why am I in such a hurry? And then, if I would remind myself, nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Let's just think about that. And today, as we do our poses, we'll take our time, we'll be deliberate. And remember that everything in yoga is completely optional. You don't need to do anything that you don't want to or doesn't feel comfortable to you. So let's just let our eyes drift open. Slowly, maybe we just glance around the room, turning our heads. Maybe looking back over our shoulders a tiny bit. And then we'll put our chin down on our chest. And then just glance up with our eyes at the ceiling, not really cranking our neck, just letting our eyes go up. Chin down to the chest, eyes look up. One more time. And then we'll just bring our head back to level and we'll bring one ear, a right ear down to our right shoulder and our left ear down to our left shoulder. If you're watching at home, the rights and lefts are backwards. Just ignore that and just do whatever you want to do. You can mirror me or not. Let's do it one more time. Boy, this part of my neck, I always really feel this. Do you guys notice this a little more? Okay, then we'll just bring our head up to the center and let's get the, our shoulders warmed up. Let's scoot out to the edge of our chair, sit up so tall, pressing our feet down into the ground. Our feet are doing the work of helping us hold up. Our spine is up really straight and tall. And we're just going to begin with our right arm, our palm will face up, our, the side of our leg. And we'll just lift it straight up. 
When we get up, we'll flip our palm and let it come down behind us. So my shoulders are still just even with the chair as I lift my arm straight back up and back around. So I'm trying to just only move my shoulder, not looking around. You might feel some little clicks and pops. It might feel really, really tight. And if so, we can expand, we can change our circle to work for us. So we should not be feeling a lot of pain, but a little uncomfortableness, all good. Okay, now we'll bring it on down, and here we go with the other side. So left arm comes up, palm facing us. We're still sitting up tall, flipping the palm, letting it drift on down. And then keeping it where it is, just come on back up. Hmm. And let's make this movement about our breath. So we'll inhale our arms straight up. Exhale it back down. Inhale, comes on back up. And exhale back down. One more time. Inhaling up. Flipping. Exhaling down. Great. Let's just wiggle our head any way we want to do. We can move our shoulders like we're rowing backwards and then the other way. Okay, now this is called breath of joy. So it's pretty fun. We'll inhale, we'll put our palms facing out and inhale our arms will come up in front of our head. And remember in silver sneakers, we keep our hands kind of in front of us. And then as we exhale, we'll lean forward and let our hands touch behind our back. They might just touch the sides of the chair, that's fine, or they can come on back. And then inhale, we'll come up, gaze up, exhale, palms touch in the back. One more time. So this is breath of joy. Let's think of something that makes us happy as we go up. Let's do it one more time, because I didn't think of it. Okay, I'm happy to be here with you guys, and let's go back down. Okay, nice. Hmm. Holding on the side of the chair for safety, we're just gonna stretch one leg out, and then the other. It's like the slowest march in the world, so we're just gonna march and kick our foot out, kind of like a goose step. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> kick it. That sounds better. We're still sitting up tall. Kick it and back down. Okay. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's press into our toes, lift our heels. And let them come down. Toes, heel, toe, heel, and then let's stomp. Okay. Um, and I, we can stretch out both heels like this if we want to, or we can do one foot at a time. And then we're just going to, like, it's a gas pedal, pressing our foot down and back, down and back. And we'll just do three on each side, or if you're doing both feet, you'll do six. Down and back, down and back, down and back. Okay. Now we're gonna hold our knees and we're just gonna hop them out, out, and in. Out, in, out, in. Okay, great. Hmm. Let's take a big inhale up over our heads, look up at our hands, hands come down, and we'll just make our way to standing if we are standers. If we are sitters, we will just sit up really tall in our chair. And, sorry. We'll just come out to one side of the chair, one side or the other, just fine. Either one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Oh, Nancy, you don't have a lot of room, so you're fine on either side. Just don't worry about that. That. Yeah, you're good. Okay, so um, we, we are going to do a little um, arm work while we're just standing here. So when we're standing, we're not just standing, we're standing in mountain pose. 
So mountain pose, our toes could be touching or our feet could be hip width apart. We just decide what feels best for us. And if our toes are touching, our heels probably aren't. They might be kicked out just a little bit or just like this. Okay. And then we're going to listen, pay attention to our body. We're going to pull up through the arch of our feet. We're going to feel our calves engage. We're going to feel our kneecaps lift up a little bit. Our thighs engage, tailbone tucks. That makes my belly and my core get tight. My head's level and my shoulders are trying to creep up, but I'm going to just let them drift on down. So all of this is going on during mountain pose with the, with the body, and we're going to take our wrists and just make some circles. So we're not just staying here. We're pulling all those things up and in. We're going the other way. Yeah. Now we're going to take our wrists and we're going to like, this is a wall. We're going to be like um, the creepy mimes. <laughs> okay. So we're going to press into the wall with our fingers. We're going to spread our fingers so wide, like we're trying to reach like an octave and a couple of notes, just really strong with our hands. And then we're going to relax them. Let them swing, come back up and do that again. It's almost like we're pulling our fingers back toward us. We're pushing so hard through all the center of our palm. And then relax. Okay. So balance. We know balance is so, so important, right? Um, the part of our brain that helps us balance is the part of our brain that helps us resist Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And of course we want to not fall. So balance is super important. If you learn one thing from yoga, maybe just learn, I'm going to stand on one foot in my kitchen every day. That would be great. So our first balance thing, we can have one hand on the chair, and we're just going to pick up our knee. And then maybe we could hover our hand. And if we're wobbly, that's good. That helps us. Maybe we can bring our arms all the way out. Maybe we can bring our knee up and our head down. And then we'll just step that foot down deliberately, like we mean to, not like, huh, I'm falling over. That's the goal. Though, of course, the falling over does happen. Okay, then we'll just switch knees. So, we'll lift up the other one. Hand right here on the chair is just fine. You're still getting some good balance work by pulling in the belly. You can feel that belly balancing, then maybe arms out. Maybe we bring our knee and curl our head down. And if we have to touch the chair, if we tip over, it's all good. And then we'll come on down. Okay, so we're just gonna put our, we're, we'll balance again, we'll do some more later, but sometimes we don't wanna do it all in a row. So we're gonna come to the side of our chair. Just one side or the other is all good. Um, you might wanna be on your other side, Nancy, because we're gonna kick out. So, unless you want to be famous, <laughs> unless you want your feet to be on TV, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to place our, place our hands here on our chair, and we're going to cat and cow right here. So remember cat and cow is, cow is bringing our head forward and our tailbone up, and cat is bringing our tailbone down and bringing our belly button back toward our spine. So cow forward, even when our tailbone's up, we are still engaging our core. And then curling back down, forward. And just do this on your own breath. You don't have to breathe with me. Sticking that tailbone way up in the air and then curling it back down. Great, now while we're here, Let's do something weird with our hands. I'm going to turn this way so you can see me. But we're going to put our wrists, our hands away from us. The inside of our wrists are going to not face the side or us. They're going to face away from us. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to put a lot of pressure there. But maybe just notice how that feels. Wow, I can feel that up the inside of my arm for sure. 
Okay, then I'm just gonna make some little fists here. And we're just gonna walk. So our, our core's engaged, this is working our belly, and we're just gonna walk our little fists up and back on our chair. Okay, then we're gonna stand back up. Time for a balance. Do you suggest to fellows to bend people down out of bed and that really does make a difference? The cat and cow? Yeah. I'm so glad. So um, let me show that again, if somebody didn't see that. Thanks, Angie. Um, so you guys, cat and cow, which we just did here, you can do cat and cow so many ways. You can do it standing, you can do it sitting, and you can do it on your back which is so nice if you're in bed. So, um, please don't get on the floor. <laughs> this, is, this is homework. So, in your bed, your knees can be bent, and then we're just gonna press this part of the back, the sacrum, the lower spine, right down into the bed or the floor. So that is hollowing out my stomach here. And then I'm just gonna relax, and I have that natural curve that we all have behind our waist and then pressing that down into the, into the floor or our bed, and then relax and pressing it down. Oh my gosh, cat and cow is the best thing ever for our lower back. And almost all of us have lower back, little twingy things every once in a while. So any cat and cow we can do is great. Um, when we sit down, we'll cat and cow in the chair, and right now, look at and cow as balance, okay? So we're gonna bring our feet a little wider apart. And we're just gonna sit like almost a little squat, but not super low. And then we're gonna bring our chest forward, tip our tailbone up. Let me show you the side view, which is not pretty, but we'll help you know what to do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enjoy that, enjoy that view. Okay, then we're gonna, we're gonna, um, cat, just curl everything under and forward, tipping the, it's all about the tailbone. Tailbone up, tailbone down. You can just do this on your own breath. Tailbone up and tailbone down. And if you don't feel comfortable, like just hands on the knees, you guys are all pretty steady, but if there's somebody at home that doesn't, you can do the same thing on a chair, tailbone up, tailbone down, and you really don't have to bend down very far at all. But just, just um, letting that lower back move, and when you do, it's all about the core, and keeping the core tight will really protect that lower back and strengthen those muscles, because it gets stiff, it gets stiff there if we have to sit, even just from walking too much, you know, after you come back from a nice walk, so good to keep that. So thanks, Angie. Thanks for reminding us about that. And now we're going to do cat and cow balance. So tricky. We're going to bring up our knee and we're going to cat down like so. I'm, I'm bringing my belly button to my spine and I'm going to cow up. Let my leg come back. Let my chest get really big, really long space down here. Cow in. I mean cat. Cow out. I shouldn't even say cat and cow. It's just like tailbone. So then we bring it in and then we pop it up. Let's do one more. This is so good for our standing leg too, right? Okay, then we'll switch sides. So you can switch sides of the chair or you don't have to. Um, either way, might feel, might feel a little more stable here. And then we'll bring our knee in and flex it on out, gazing up a little bit. Knee in, knee out. You guys look like um, beautiful ballerinas at the bar. <laughs> you know, we're doing our little thing and we're stretching out. So nice, let's do one more. Okay, lovely. All right, so um, coming back to our chairs, just watch first, okay? So we're gonna bring our hands on our chairs like we did before, and we're gonna tiger pose our leg up, and then we're gonna stretch it out. So look at my hips. 
Um, when sometimes when we do this, we really want to make our hip go like this. Oh, look how high I can get my leg. It's not about that. It's about keeping this totally level back here. So if I set something on here, I would not tip it off. And then I'm going to bring that in, another cat and cow, and out. Okay? So that's what we're going for. So come, come on down and bring your hands on down. And bring one knee in. And then out. We'll just straighten our leg. Maybe bend our knee. And check your hips. If you feel comfortable, you can put one hand up there and see how it is. Are they level? Doesn't matter if your leg is straight or bent in the back. Just matters if your hips are level. Okay, now we're going to bring our knee into our nose. Straighten it back out. One more time. And by one, I mean two more times. Okay, and we'll put that foot down. We'll stand up and kind of hula our hips around because that is tight on the standing one and the other one. Okay, and then back down, we'll do the other side. We'll just bring that foot up, bend the knee like a tiger, checking our lower back. Is it level? Then we'll bring our knee into our nose. And when I say into our nose, it's nowhere near my nose. And then straightening out, knee in, out. It's just the feeling of that. Knee in, knee out, and let's hold it just for a couple breaths. And then we'll bring that down, hula on around. Okay, great. So coming to warrior. So warrior can be done seated or standing. So I'm going to show seated first. If you, if you think you're going to be standing, just don't sit down yet. So we just spread our feet out. And this back foot is kind of 45 degrees away, and this foot is here. And then this leg is kind of straight. This leg is kind of bent. And we're just going to bring our arms up and gaze up, trying to get our hips to go this way, which this is tricky in a chair. Um, and it seems easier to me just to be not with a chair. So just do your own warrior however you are. That's nice, Phyllis. Yes, that's good, that's good. And then up and down, up, just arms up. Relax our shoulders. Good. And then we'll come on down. And we're just gonna maybe pivot our back foot a little bit. If we're in a chair where we stay kind of the same, so it looks like this, and then we'll just bring our arms like this. So this is warrior two. So um, we just want our arms to be straight out, level with our shoulders, and relaxed. And it's really common in this pose for us to kind of be way too far out. Shoulders right over the hips. Nice. Okay, we'll bring our hands to our heart. We'll take a breath. And we're gonna reverse our warrior. So in a chair or standing, we're just gonna like, take that front arm up and over just a little bit, just gaze up. And then back down. Elbow comes down to our knee. And maybe we lift our other arm up. Yes. And if you um, are close by your chair, in case you just need that, that's so good. And then we're done with this side. Okay, so we'll just pivot our toes around. Whether we're sitting or standing, we're sitting, we'll just be switching to this way. If we're standing, the same. And we'll do warrior one first. So two arms up, hips facing that yellow wall, breathing. Relaxing our shoulders. And then opening up to warrior two, so everybody's gonna be facing, your face will face me, but your hand, your, your body will face me, but your hands will be facing the yellow wall. Mm -hmm. I mean your face, oh gosh, what do I mean? Anyway, we just look this way. That's what we're doing. Yep. And then we'll reverse it, so we'll bring 
are arm up and just squeeze up a tiny bit. And then our elbow down onto our knee, other arm up. One more breath, we can do it. And then we'll come on back up. And it's time to sit down. So everybody find the chair and let's grab a drink. Okay, so we're sitting clear up on the edge of our chair. We're just gonna bring our arms out like a T. And with our right hand, we're just gonna bring it over to our left knee. And maybe we can put our arm on the back of the chair and gaze back over our shoulder. And maybe that's too much. Maybe we just look, keep, keep our hands down. And making sure our core is engaged, we'll come on back around, arms back out to the T, and then twisting over, hand could be up here, or it could be down on the side as we look over our shoulder. And then we'll come on back around. And we're just gonna cat and cow right here in our chair. So this is something you could do anywhere, in the car, anytime you're seated. Um, in fact, even on the ground, you can do this. So we're just gonna shine our heart forward. That tips our tailbone up, our core's engaged, and holding onto the chair, that makes us feel safe, is, is good. Our shoulders are even back. And then we curl our shoulders forward. We bring our belly button down toward our spine. We look down. And then inhale, we go forward. Exhale, we curl on down. So cat and cow, you can just do this anywhere. Okay, I guess this is cat and cow day, because that's so good. Then we'll just bring our hands out and pretend like we're holding a yoga block or something in between them, maybe about the size of a shoe box or a little smaller. And then we're just gonna bring our elbows clear up by our, I mean shoulders clear up by our ears, straight back, down, and forward. Shoulders up, back, down, and forward one more time. Up, back, down, and forward. And now we'll reverse that. So straight back, up, forward, down, back, up, forward, down. This is the last one. Back, up, forward, and down. Ah. Any little wiggles that feel good here. Okay. We're just gonna move our knees. So we wanna get, not clear back, but just kind of midway. We're just gonna pick up one knee, right or left, it doesn't matter. We'll hold it. And if, if that's too, if we don't want to do that, we can just leave it down, whatever. If it gets too heavy, we'll just let go. And then we'll just straighten our knee and bend it. Straighten and bend. We're sitting up tall, our core's engaged. And now we're gonna make kind of a little circle. So we'll turn our heel in, bring it up, heel out, bring it down, heel over, up, out. Down and we'll freeze right here. Back over, in, down. This is the last time on this side. Sitting up really tall, squeezing your belly. Okay. So we're gonna keep that same leg, okay? Keeping the same leg, we're just gonna bring it right up here. 
So we're, um, I like to call this a can, you know, like this would be a Barbie and this would be a can. So we're sitting up tall in our chair like a kin, and we're holding our ankle and our knee, and maybe the hand on our knee might just gently press it down. If it hurts, we don't do it, but if it just feels like a little uncomfortable, all good. And then maybe we can lean forward a little bit. I really feel that in your hip in a good way. <laughs> if it's not a good way, don't do it. And then we'll come on back up. We'll bring this foot out and we'll just hold it. It could be clear up here or it could be just off the ground. And we're going to circle our ankle. And then the other direction. And you have a rest. Okay. And we'll pick up behind the other knee. Sitting up tall, core engaged. We're just going to up and down. One more, and now we're going to make that, I don't know if it's really a square or an oval or what. A heel in, up, out, down, and I guess it's a rectangle. Up, out, down, and freeze, we'll reverse it. Up, over, down, heel out, heel up, heel over, heel down. And we'll keep that same leg and put it right up here, sitting up tall, noticing our spine, noticing our belly, holding our ankle, holding our knee, and maybe we'll press down gently on our thigh here. Relaxing our shoulders, so many things to think about, right? Then we'll just straighten this leg holding it up in some way. It doesn't have to be way out. And then a little circle, and then a little circle the other way. And we'll let that come on down. Now, so we did the Ken thing. We're gonna do the Barbie thing. We're gonna do Eagle right here in our chair. So we'll just cross our legs. Now, if you are so flexible that you can put your toe right here behind your shin, then okay, <laughs> okay. That's great. And then we're gonna just bring our arms out. Look down and see which leg is on top. It is my right. And I'm not mirroring. It's really my right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just look. And th so then, if that leg is on top, then that arm is gonna go under, okay? So arms under. And then if your palms touch, like the, if the backs of your palms touch, good. Mine really don't, and I just like to hold my shoulders and sit up tall. Sometimes that hurts my shoulders, so sitting up tall is great. Maybe I can pick up my elbows. I'm gonna lift my chest, almost like we're doing a little bit of a cow pose. And eat, no matter where my legs are, if they're wrapped around each other or not, squeezing my thighs really tight together, pressing with my knees. One more breath, we can do it and then fly. We let our arms come out, we let our leg go out, and we're gonna do the other side. So whichever wasn't crossed on top, cross that over. If you can tuck your foot behind you, good for you. If not, like me, just squeeze and arms come out, and I look down and my left leg is on top, so my left arm is gonna go under. So then, if I can do this, great. If I wanna hold my shoulders, great. I'm squeezing, squeezing, squeezing my legs. I'm lifting my chest. I'm squeezing my shoulders or my arms together too. So do you know that this is super good for the liver and the kidneys? This squeezing really in, um, brings new blood flow to all those internal organs. Let's just take one more breath if we can. And then fly, arms, leg. Okay. I'm not a big fan of Eagle, but I know it's good for us. Okay. Now, we're just going to do our little tricky thing, our brain exercise, which um, 
is the hardest part of yoga for me. So we're going to get our legs going like a windshield wiper, back and forth, back and forth. We can roll up on the sides of our feet. We can come up on our toes. We can lift our heels, anything we want to get our legs going back and forth. Okay, so um, I, think it, I think it's helpful if we bring our feet like pretty wide and then kind of back and forth. So make sure that this does not hurt your knees. It can just be a really small movement. Okay, now our arms are gonna do some work. So we'll bring our hands up here like a robot and we'll just bend our fingers down and up. And we're keeping the windshield wiper going and we're down and upping. Okay. Now we're gonna switch our wrists. Keeping the windshield wipers going, we're gonna roll our wrists around. They can both go the same way or not. Mine will always wanna go different ways. Okay, now this is the hard part. Keeping the windshield wipers going. Our arms are gonna go out and in. Out, in. This isn't very hard. Okay. Good, we're doing great. Okay, we're stopping the windshield wipers, and now our legs are gonna go out and in. Our knees, just out and in, out and in. Like maybe we're trying to catch something in our lap with our knees. That reminds me of Tom Sawyer. Does it, does it, you guys? No? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so out and in, and now our hands are gonna be backwards. So when my hands are out, or in, my legs are gonna be out. Yes. Okay, very good. We're gonna pick up our feet and just circle our ankles around and the other way. We'll pick up one knee and just hug it tight into our chest. This isn't really about our knee, it's about our hip. So we're gonna squeeze it in toward our armpit. We're gonna kind of avoid our ribs. Just squeeze it, we sit up so tall. Feeling that compression. And then other one. Over here to the rib, kind of to the armpit, not really straight in. I do? Oh, great. <laughs> I'm glad that's on TV. Thanks. <laughs> that's good to know. I'll, ch I'll fix these pants. <laughs> okay. And then we'll cat and cow a little bit. And then we'll bring our arms up over our head. Look up at our hands and let them come on back down. This time when we come up, we'll twist and come down and look in one direction and then back up the other. One more time, up, breathing away, up and over. And then we'll just sit still in our chair, just come to a place of stillness. If you feel like anything needs to move, maybe your shoulders or arms or anything, just have a little wiggle and then we'll all come to stillness. And we could even close our eyes. We can make sure our feet are flat on the floor. Shoulders are relaxed. Our back's resting against the back of the chair. Palms up, eyes could drift closed. Shavasana, this is where our bodies are soaking up the things we did, where our minds are soaking up some of the patterns. Our breath is remembering how it feels to breathe long and slow. And our spirit's remembering, oh yeah, Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Maybe I can use that in my life. 
And now we don't have to think about anything at all. Just thoughts will come and go. We'll just let them go. I'll just breathe. Just be here on our chairs. Feeling free to stay here as long as you like. You can just keep breathing, keep sitting here. Or maybe if you're prepared to go about your day, you could begin to wiggle your fingers. Maybe turn your head from side to side. And a full body stretch might feel good. Arms up, feet out. And then just give yourself a little minute. Let's bring our hands to our heart, sit up tall. We could close our eyes again, bow our heads. And let's just take a few breaths together of gratitude. Just thinking about what we're thankful for today. always being thankful for our bodies and how hard they try to do the things we want them to do. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.